Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the new Toy Notch Sun Wukong or the Monkey King from the classic 1960s Shanghai Animation Studios Da Nao Tian Gong or the Havoc in Heaven. For a place to get all your collectibles, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, this figure has been a long time coming. Um, I think it was due for release back in September 2019 and there were a few months of delay. Uh, but it's taken up until uh, now, late in January 2020, for it to release. And I only just received it from Big Bad Toy Store. And for the most part, I have to say, it is definitely worth the wait. Uh, if you're into something a bit different, if you are interested in some of the more classic uh, Chinese mythology and things like that, then this figure is definitely right up your alley. And for what it comes with, um, and the quality of what it comes with, I think, uh, compared to the likes of what you get from... Uh, Bandai and his SH figure arts and so on. I think it's right up there with that sort of quality uh, The packaging I'll just quickly go through that. I do like the sort of cover art there Gives you a nice shot of the figure itself And there you see the Da Nao Tian Gong, which is the Havoc in Heaven as I knew it or the uh, Uproar in Heaven and the uh, Sun Wukong uh, His name of course uh, the Monkey King there. So you see a few more shots of the figure um, no, oh, I guess there's a bit of background there from the classic animation there. Um, I never actually grew up watching the animation itself. Um, it released, I think, in the 19, early 1960s. But I do remember my parents uh, back in the 80s having uh, some, I think it must have been some artwork or some books uh, from that stage um, that uh, I did read uh, when I was a little kid. Um, so this is sort of, this sort of style was entrenched in my memory. Um, of the classic uh, Sun Wukong, apart from when we started seeing those really campy Japanese versions on the ABC here in Australia and those reruns. Uh, but this one, if uh, you're into that sort of classic Chinese animation that really was their golden age uh, back in the early 1960s and so on, um, and this was right up there with uh, the best of that animation. It does take a bit of getting used to watching it, it's very sort of operatic and so on, um, but uh, you do get the style and the feel for what they were going for with these uh, classic characters. Uh, we'll get to the figure shortly. Uh, the accessories, it does come with quite a bit of stuff, uh, which uh, is a nice uh, surprise. Uh, the cloud here, that, uh, his magic cloud that he always stands on and so on, is uh, nicely done. There's a bit of shading difference in there with the shades of blue and so on, so I do like that. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a stand that I could find in the packaging, but I think if you... Uh, have some of the Bandai stands, you might be able to post it um, up on one of those stands and have him in the air, which would be quite nice. Uh, so it is a shame they didn't include that. Comes with his um, Peach of Immortality, I think it is. Um, I can't remember the Chinese name for it, but uh, it does have a nice pink hue to it, and you can pose it with uh, his open hands and so on, like he's uh, hugging it um, and uh, enjoying that. It comes with two coloured variants of his... I guess it's his magic breath or something, not like a little cloud, I guess. And he does have a face sculpt swap out that you can insert that just gently in there, something along those lines. So you get that uh, style as well. So you get two of those. You do get an assortment of hands. Um, so he does come with a uh, open palm for that sort of style and then a fist for holding his staff or or cudgel and he has a whole bunch of action hands as well so he's got the uh, two finger pointing hands a few other sort of uh, open actiony type hands fists as well nothing too much to write home about on the the paint application or styling I'm not even sure if they're painted to be honest I think they're just the sort of brownish purple plastic but that's okay no no risk of um, paint peeling off or anything like that so overall uh, it gives you plenty of opportunity to to pose it up in some of the dynamic poses. The face sculpts it comes with the sort of default uh, look there, nothing too drastic. Comes with that blowing face sculpt um, and I think you just pull that part uh, from the front. I think you might have to take the head off before, so I might try that a bit later, but you pull that off and then you swap out the, uh, the head sculpt there. You can see the, the way it pegs in. So you get that, you get his angry face you get his laughing happy face which is quite nicely done 
and then you get his sort of quirky, mischievous type face. So I think it uh, also gives you lots of options there. The paint application on the face with the green, there's no sort of paint bleed and the eyes are nicely done as well and the ears there. So overall I think they've done a great job there. Best thing for me is definitely the staff or his uh, cudgel and it's actually it's actually metal. I was actually thinking it was going to be just plastic uh, but uh, you can always tell when companies are trying to make an effort um, particularly with their first figure. I mean this is the first figure I've ever heard from uh, this toy notch company and uh, they always use the, the best materials they possibly can and this metal cudgel is definitely the way to go. So no bending or anything like that, it's uh, very nicely done. So happy with that. But uh, now I'll give you a close look at the figure. All right, so here is a close top to bottom view of the figure. I do like it. Most of the paint application is fairly good. The only sort of color bleed I do have is some of the red around his uh, skirt or karma here. Sort of get that sort of color bleed through into the white, which is unfortunate. Uh, but everything else seems to be pretty good. Uh, the yellow paint on the top here, particularly on the top of his arms, does seem a little bit thick. Um, so there might be a bit of a paint rub issue there uh, with the articulation, but overall it's not too bad. And his little um, scarf thing around the, the shoulders here isn't too bad either. Um, again, it could have been a bit smoother, but overall it's not too bad. Um, the rest of the uh, outfit at the top here and the legs I think are just unpainted uh, plastic. So I think all of this is, is yellow with a bit of uh, black on his sash there. And then this red, I can't actually tell if that's painted, but it looks like it's unpainted red plastic, which is uh, fine by me. And then it goes into some of the painted black here. Um, but articulation wise, you get the usual with the head, just be careful on where it uh, touches the, the scarf here um, in case there's any sort of rub. Has a good bit of articulation on the neck to look down. Not much looking up, which is a shame. Would have been nicer if he was able to look up a bit more uh, for some of those uh, action poses um, as he's about to take off and so on. But uh, I think you might be able to sort of get around that in there if you're a bit more creative. Um, the torso here has a nice range of motion on the torso. It's a shame that it breaks that that but uh, that sort of happens on most figures there is a bit of waist articulation at the bottom uh, not too much uh, but you get the idea so there's lots of motion there and it just sort of pops off uh, with this little peg here so it's not on too tight so just be careful there the arms um, if you're familiar with the joints from um, Revoltech or SH Figure Arts you'll, you'll know what you're gonna get uh, has a decent range of motion has the uh, bicep swivel there and a single joint on the elbow it gives you a pretty decent range of, of motion there. Um, the legs, the legs only go up so far, luckily this is a very soft plastic on the uh, the skirt there so it doesn't really hinder the articulation. Would it be nice if the, the thighs could get up a little bit more but it's not too bad uh, particularly with the knees um, having a good range of motion there so you can get him into those sort of jumping poses as well and with the ankles there uh, you get a pretty good range of uh, up and down tilt. Um, I can't see too much um, ankle rocking, which is a shame. Oh no, there you go. You can get a bit of ankle rocking motion there. Um, so you can have his feet flat on the ground doing some of those action um, dynamic kung fu poses. So overall, I think um, they've done pretty well in the articulation stakes. Uh, nothing feels overly flimsy or, or anything like that. I mean, you just might need to sort of rotate around to get him back to normal there like so. Um, so again, they've done pretty well on that front. Um, I think I've gone through the paint application and so on. Uh, so the only real disappointing thing for me is no no included stand um, for, for the cloud. And you'll notice that the cloud does have a, a footprint. So you can sort of wedge his foot in there. It, it would seem like a fairly tight fit. So... Not sure if that would rub some of the uh, the black paint off as well. So just be careful there. Not sure if I've got the right foot in there. Um, but you might want to heat this up with some uh, hot water or something, and then and then put the foot in uh, before you sort of wedge it in there and snap something. But um, yeah, if there was a stand included, it would have been uh, the uh, icing on the cake on this uh, pretty awesome figure. So if you like, um, as I was saying before, if you do like Chinese mythology and uh, have followed. 
um, the uh, the Journey to the West characters in the past, then I think uh, you'll definitely love this uh, particular figure. Uh, I haven't seen any further announcements on anything else from the classic animation. I don't think I don't think the classic animation had uh, some of the other uh, characters that uh, everyone knows, like um, uh, you know Zhu Ba Jie and um, uh, even the monk um, Tang San Zhang. So um, I don't think the animation had that. It was probably his time uh, wreaking havoc in heaven. I think the animation was. But um, there are some other iconic characters from that uh, particular animation. Uh, with I think uh, the kids with the rings. I can't remember what they they they, they were or the monks and a few of the other gods. Um, so if they do release more, I'll definitely get them too. Uh, particularly if they're of this bit of quality. So um, hopefully you like that quick look at this new uh, Sun Wukong figure from uh, Toy Notch. Um, if you know of any other figures from this company, let me know in the comments because um, this is the first time I've heard of them. And uh, I took a punt on, on getting something a bit different for the collection. Um, and it's definitely worth uh, the investment. So um, hopefully you like that quick look. Hopefully you can click that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for my upcoming, upcoming Transformers Masterpiece. Uh, reviews uh, hopefully within the next week or so so um thanks again and i'll talk to you guys soon cheers